Hi, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in Power Director Ultimate, looking at some of the tools in the program for creating DVDs and Blu-ray discs. And some of these are pretty advanced tools. So we're here in the Edit Workspace. We've got our little movie all built on our timeline, and we want to make a DVD of it. So let's jump over to the Produce Workspace by clicking on the Produce button here in the top center of the program. And if we go to the top of the program, we can select Create Disk. That's where we want to spend the first part of our time here. Here in Create Disk, under the Content tab, you can see the movie that is added to the timeline, including those little chapter markers that we created in another tutorial. But suppose you wanted to add some bonus features. You wanted to add a blooper reel or just a special movie that you'd like to include on your disc along with the main feature. That's easy enough to do. If you go to the top left of this little column here, you notice that you have the option to import a PowerDirector project. In other words, to select a project that hasn't even been rendered yet. It's just an edited project. You can import that as is and add it to your disc or you can grab a movie that's already created. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import an already created MP4 video. So I'll click on that button and I'm just going to browse right to a little movie called Jason's birthday. And there it is. Select it and click open. And it's added to my movie. Now it will appear as a bonus feature. Now the default name for it is Jason's birthday, all one word. I'm going to just select it by double clicking on the name right here, Jason's birthday. That becomes editable. I'm just going to call it special feature. And that's kind of it. You can add chapter markers to it. I don't know why you would do that to a special feature, but that's an option. You can also remove it from your disc and you can add as many special features as you'd like. Here we've got our existing menu and we can preview it. And when we do, you're going to see the option here, not only to go to individual scenes, but also to go to our special feature. So if I click the preview button here in the lower right hand corner, here's our main menu. If we go to the scene menu. You notice we can either play our special feature or we can click on my video in which case we get to a scene menu where we can go to the individual scenes or chapters we created for our movie. And that's pretty much all there is to adding a special feature to your movie. As I say, you can add as many as you'd like, and then they will appear here on the second level menu under scenes as special features on your DVD or Blu-ray disc menu. Now, if you want to know more about creating DVDs and Blu-ray discs using CyberLink PowerDirector, check out the many tips and tutorials we have at MoviePix.com. Want to know everything there is about this amazing feature-packed program? Be sure to check out the MoviePix.com guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. It's available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve, the guy who wrote it. Hope to see you again real soon.